Did you know that only 88% of Americans will eat turkey on Thanksgiving? Also, did you know that 46 million turkeys are prepared for Thanksgiving each year? And while we all look forward to our Thanksgiving meal, eight out of 10 people actually prefer the leftovers over the actual meal. So go ahead and eat all weekend long and enjoy your Thanksgiving break. What's up Achievement House? Welcome to The Buzz, bienvenido. I am Ms. Gonzalez and co-anchor and with me I have Ms. Otani. Hi everybody. We have a lot of important dates coming up. First and foremost, parent, guardian, and teacher conferences are this week. So make sure that your parent or guardian has signed up for a conference with any or all of your teachers, um, either on Monday, November 23rd, or on Tuesday, November 24th. So there's two days available for conferences. Then on Thursday, November 26th, through Monday, November 30th, we're gonna be on break. So there's no school um, from Thursday, November 26th to Monday, November 30th for the Thanksgiving holiday. And then on Friday, December 4th at 2 p.m., there's a college and career webinar brought to us by the Community College of Philadelphia. And you're gonna find that link into in Miss Galley's 12th grade counselor group. Thank you for those important updates. And let's toss it over to the weather with Missy Missy Mikowskis. Hi everyone, Mrs. Mistowskis here. Well, when it comes to the weather, that's something that pretty much everyone wants to know about every day. It may determine what you're going to be wearing that day or if the plans you've planned are even going to take place, especially if that plan is mountain biking. One of our fellow students here at Achievement House did just that. He wrote his own program and displayed the weather of what's going to be happening that day that updates every five minutes based on a code he wrote and a Raspberry Pi. So let's take a look at what Bobby Teary did and how he put that all together. This is a short presentation of my weather information display. So what is it? It's a program that shows weather data for a specific area. In this case, it's my local area, and I would use it to plan outdoor activities like mountain biking. It's designed to be run on a Raspberry Pi and is always on the display. So this display here never turns off. This is always on in the corner of my room for me to glance at whenever I need information. It's written in Python, and it updates the data every five minutes. Where does the data come from? Well, it comes from the Open Weather Map API, which is an application program interface. Very simply, this is just a way to get information. The Open Weather Map provides free access to historic, current, and future weather data. So before I show a short screen recording of the display actually running, I just want to go over some of the main elements. So on the left, you will find the daily forecasts. So this is a brief overview of every day in the upcoming week. And then on the right, there's a rotating display, and this provides more in-depth information. I didn't have much space, so I had to abbreviate things like temperature to T, wind to W, cloudiness to C, humidity to H, things like that. I didn't have to do this for the current weather because I had more space. The current weather, just provides whatever is going on outside right now. The forecasted temperatures and precipitation chances are both in the form of graphs and provide a brief overview of what the next 14 hours are going to look like. On the right, there is the hourly forecasts and similar to the daily forecast, they just provide a brief overview of each hour and then with the rotating display, you can see more in-depth information. Now I'm going to show a short screen recording of it actually running. Very 
very cool, Bobby. It's pretty neat what you can do with just a little bit of coding and some electronics. Job well done. Back to you, Mrs. Gonzalez. Thank you so much for that weather update. Very interesting. Thank you. Did you have one more thing, Ms. Sabatelli? I do. One last reminder. There will not be a new episode of The Buzz on the week of December 1st. I know we're all so sad about that, but keep an eye out for our next episode on December 7th. We'll be back. Man, what? December already? Wow. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching The Buzz. Till next time, take care. See you guys and have a great week.